Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Sunday, September 17th, 2023. This puzzle has a title, it's called Classical Music. Alright, let's get started. One across. Need for double dutch. I think that has to be a jump rope, right? Let's see if we can build off of this. Exclamation from Astro on the Jetsons. Is that Rutro? Isn't that something Scooby Doo says? Hmm, I'm not sure about this. Popular pizza chain familiarly. Hmm, is that Uno's? I just want this to be a U. Like some books. Hmm, it feels like this could be a lot of things. Worker who throws things. Throws things. Hmm. I don't know what they're talking about. In particular, in shorthand. Okay, that should be especially URL starter. Okay, that's gotta be HTTP. I wonder if it is Rutro. Hmm. Tell on. That's gotta be Radon. Excited gifters words. Open it. Okay. This is probably gonna be a theme answer. Warning to Icarus, the Beatles. Ooh, okay, this definitely feels like it's gonna be a musical theme. Hmm. I wonder if this is a Beatles song title. Like some books. On tape. Ooh, there we go. Throws things. Worker. It has to be Uno's, right? So this would be a potter? Why would a potter throw things? I don't get this one. Hmm. A potter. So this is someone who makes pots? Hmm. When you have something on a wheel, are you throwing it? I guess I don't know enough about pottery. Interesting. Hopefully we can get some information on why a potter would throw things. Okay. Touching say. Is this nearby? It could also be touching in an emotional sense. Hmm. Optical accessories. Why is optical in quotes? Hmm, that's interesting. Ribbed pasta. Hmm, is it rigatoni? I'm not sure. Okay, well this is definitely rara avis, rare bird. Somewhat. This has gotta be a tad or a bit. Dodger Stadium is built on one. Ooh, um, hmm, what is this? Is built on one, I'm not sure. Big things to sell out. This looks like it's gonna be arenas. Building support beam, that should be an eye bar. Okay, so that means this is definitely a bit. Hmm. Maybe this is rigatoni. Okay. Shows up in the afternoon. And this is wordplay, so it's not just about arriving in the afternoon. Are you showing someone up as in doing better than them? Shows up. Or maybe it's about television shows in the afternoon? Hmm. Oh, you know what it is? It's shows in a theater in the afternoon. It's matinees. Nice, that's very clever. Dodger Stadium. Is it a ravine? Tell on informally. Well, it's not rad on. Hmm. Cheeky. It's not fresh. Hmm. Tell on, this would be an N if this was ravine. Oh, it could be Narcon, right? 
Very tricky. Is this pert? Huh. Supplication to Ares, Plastic Ono Band. Hmm. These both have John Lennon in them. Interesting. It really looks like it's going to start with give. Is it give peace a chance? That was a Plastic Ono Band song, right? Give peace a chance. Uh, supplication to Ares. I guess because Ares is the god of war, you're asking Ares to give peace a chance. Is that what's going on? I'm kind of confused by this first part. Oh, but I guess because the theme title is classical music, we're kind of relating song titles to classical gods because this is about Icarus, right? Interesting. Okay. Chant to an honoree. That's definitely going to be speech. Word of woe. Alas. Fondue blank, Wisconsin. I've never heard of this place. I'm going to guess it's lock. The French word for lake. Cutting room. And this is wordplay, so it's not about the editing room for a movie. Ooh, is it a salon? Yeah, that's where you get your hair cut. Spirit of St. Louis, e.g. The Spirit of St. Louis was the airplane that Lindbergh flew across the ocean, right? Hmm. Spirit of St. Louis. Oh yeah, I guess it's just a plane. One is the representation of January, that's right. Tidy up, that's gotta be neaten. Yoga pose on all fours. Is that the cat pose or the cow pose? I really don't know yoga poses. Congregant seats. Okay, yeah, that should be pews. So I guess it is the cow pose. Figure skating jump. I think there is a jump called a toe loop. Okay. Orders. Hmm. Orders. Is it plural? Kind of history. I guess that's oral history, right? A is in ancient history. More wordplay. So I guess they're not talking about A being the first letter in the term ancient history. Hmm. Maybe this is some kind of old letter? It's not the Greek A. That would be alpha. Hmm. Having a lot of dinero. I guess that would make you rico or rich. Woe inducing. Uh, is that deep? Let's see. Hirer of an executive director. Hmm. Executive director. Would that be a board of a company? A. As in ancient history. Is it Anno? Like Anno Domini? A.D.? God, that's really tricky. Half of a Muppet duo? Huh. Shouldn't that be Ernie? Oh, this is a typo. Okay, there we go. So, is this behest? You did it on someone's behest, on someone's orders? That's pretty tricky. Trunk. Okay, that could be your torso. Can we figure this one out? Warning to Icarus. Hmm. Accessories. What in the world is this? This is probably an S, right? Iconic TV role for Lucy Lawless. No, that has to be Xena Warrior Princess. So is this mice? Oh, optical mice, yeah like mice with lasers in them. All right, that makes sense. Touching say. So it's not nearby, but I think it is next to. Okay, and then warning to Icarus. This has gotta be Here Comes the Sun, right? That's a Beatles song. And that would be a warning to Icarus. Excellent, okay, I think we've got the hang of this theme. 
radiate. That should be emit. Solomon for one. Hmm. Wasn't Solomon a king? Maybe this is asking for a nationality. Is that right? No way. Radiate. Hmm. What is this? Neither lose nor win in betting lingo. I don't know. Is that punt? No man? That doesn't make sense. Ooh, wait a minute. Maybe instead of punt, this is push. I think I have heard that before. So maybe this is no mas in Spanish? God, that's tricky. Hmm, what do we have here? Request to Prometheus, the doors. Uh, Prometheus brought fire to humans, right? So maybe this is light my fire. That's a pretty funny one. Certain, yeah, that's gonna be sure. German or is odor. Beef, maybe. I think this is talking about a feud. Job candidate's aspiration. You would want a job offer, right? Highlight in a way. Hmm. I wonder if this is reinforce. That fits very nicely. One with a fascinating job. <laughs> and this is wordplay. And there's a very interesting hyphen going on here. So I guess it's got to be somebody that fastens something to something else. Hmm. What would that be? I have no idea. Airport transport. That should be a tram. Big name in auto parts. Oh man. Um, I never remember this. Yeah, we're gonna need some crossing help here. De Carlo, who played Lily Munster. I never watched the Munsters. I have no idea who this is. Dior fragrance. Oof, wow, what a tricky little section here. Hmm, I don't even know if we'd be able to build back into it. Purge. It's not oust. Hmm, its first store was in Elmholt Smallland. I'm just gonna go ahead and guess that that's Ikea. Purge. Hmm. Ingredients in many candies. Well, it's got to be plural, right? Some are loose. Hmm. I'm starting to think that force is wrong, maybe. Let's take this out. Under the table. I don't know, is that sneaky? Hmm. Yeah, this is probably dies. And this is rid. Okay, so what is this going to be instead? Highlight. This is not necessarily an N. Hmm. First name in cosmetics. That's got to be Este Lauder. Nuevo Hampshire por ejemplo. Okay, so this is New Hampshire in Spanish. And that would be an example of an estado, right? A state. Okay. Oh, this could be loose T's. There we go. So maybe this is reiterate. That makes sense. A fascinating job. Hmm. Well, this is looking like it's probably Yvonne. So maybe this is a riveter. Yeah, I guess you are fastening one thing to another. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know, is it like Jador? This could be Midas, in keeping with our mythology theme. Uh, maybe it is Jador. Is this a J? Yeah, this is Josie and the Pussycats, right? Is that right? Is that how to spell it? Chapters in history. Yeah, that's gotta be Eras. Component of a fairy costume. Hmm, it's not wings. Is it a wand? That would make sense. So we have a woman here. 
Comment to Aphrodite. Roy Orbison. Hmm. I have heard some Roy Orbison music. I'm not sure if I'm going to know this song. Junior and Senior. I don't know, would that be years in high school? Guiding Light. Hmm. It's not a lodestar. I wonder if it's a lantern. Yeah. Solomon for one. I guess he was a sage, right? He was supposed to be wise. Okay, set apart. I don't know, is it separate? Oh, that doesn't fit. Hmm. The eye of AIG. Uh, what was this? AIG. Something international group? I want to say it's international. Yeah. Nail work for short. Yeah, that's a manicure. Peter and Alexander. Those are czars. Either blank in blank is blank. Love is love? Life is life? I don't know. London-based cosmetics giant. Yeah, that is Avon. So maybe it is love is love. And this looks like it's going to be isolate. Parcel of land. That's a lot. So this is pretty woman? Uh, what is the first word here? Hmm. Spanish but. That's pero, right? Okay. Olympic crafts since 1936. Hmm. I'm not sure what they're talking about here. Is it boats or sleds? I don't know. Consideration for a hairstylist. Huh. Is it a part? Let's see. Hey. And this is a bracket clue, so we need a nonverbal equivalent to hey. I think that could be a pst. Trying to get someone's attention. Vocal range from about F3 to F5. I'm just going to guess that that's alto. Underlying reason. Hmm. What would that be? Features of airports in Nevada. That's definitely slots. I've seen those before. Common city street hangouts. That's got to be stoops, right? Especially if you're in New York City. Small sip of alcohol to Brits. Hmm. Is that a tot? Underlying reason. Yeah, that could be a root cause. Okay. Is it canoes? Is there an Olympic sport that uses a canoe? Total suck up. And this is wordplay, so it's not about someone trying to ingratiate themselves to someone else. Hmm. Suck up. I would want it to be about a vacuum. Maybe it's a sponge. There we go. That's funny. So is this like, oh, pretty woman? What a cord wiener makes. Hmm. Well, is it shoes? Drunken walk. Is it a stagger? Yeah. So I guess it is shoes. A cord wainer. I don't think I've seen that word before. Concur. That's going to be agree. Something found on a belt. Hmm. I wonder if it's a tool. If it's a tool belt. Match. Hmm. Smoke detector. More wordplay. So it's not about a smoke alarm. Hmm. Is it a hose? Why would it be a hose? What kind of smoke are we talking about here? Hmm. Van Blank and Arpels, jeweler. Isn't it Van Cleef? Match. So is that sink? Oh, I guess your nose can detect smoke. Yeah, man, that's tricky. Criticism of Narcissus, Carly Simon. This is kind of a gimme. Yeah, this is going to be you're so vain. Nice. Letters on a cognac bottle. Uh, what is this? Oh, man. Um, yeah, it's an initialism that stands for 
it's like very fine old reserve or something. I can't remember exactly how it goes. NVEG. Yeah, that would be a sin, right? An example of a sin. Ugh, man, I wish I could remember this. Major inconvenience, is that a pain? Like not remembering this letters on a cognac bottle. Ain't misbehaving. Vegetable that looks like a portmanteau of two other vegetables, but isn't. Um, hmm. Well, it looks like a parsnip. Is it Josie with an IE? Ooh. Yeah, maybe it's a parsnip. Creme de la creme. Stopper. Yeah, that could be a plug. Blank major cluster. Astronomical grouping. That has to be Ursa major, right? Radii eg. I guess that's plural, right? So that would be an example of arm bones plural. University sessions abbreviated. Shouldn't that be semesters? Is that S-E-M-S? -S? That looks a little weird. Camp production, maybe. Hmm, yeah, I don't know about semesters. That seems strange to me. And Treaty to Hades, Electric Light Orchestra. Oh man, I love this one. This is a great song. Don't bring me down. Nice, don't bring me down to Hades, yeah. Ah, oh, man. VSO what? God, I wish I could remember this. Swing by a string, say. Swing by a string. Is this about a swing on a playground? Hmm. Brood. Is that fester? I don't think so. That doesn't feel quite right. Like now, an equivalent phrase, ASAP, VSOP, very something old product, man. Hopefully we found out what this stands for. President Biden once, well, he was a senator once. Brood. Is it a family? Yeah. You could have a brood, right? Okay. Egg white. Hmm. I don't know, is this talking about a color? You tell them an equivalent phrase. Hmm. Is it just, yeah? I guess it could be. Foul. Hmm. Is this like something that smells foul? Blank Linda, California. Hmm. I'm not sure about this place. Articles that may be wired. Is this like articles of clothing? Huh. Condo EG. What would a condo be an example of? An apartment? I don't know. Component of some chains. Maybe it's email? It could be an email chain, yeah. Boy. Jacket type. There's a bomber jacket, right? Erupt with laughter? Hmm. It's not a riot. That doesn't feel quite right. Actress Chaplin. That's Una Chaplin. Like some spy messages. Hmm. I don't know. Item in a table setting. That should be a napkin, right? Eat in style. Is that dine? That's very fancy. Some are loose. You could have loose ends. Tear or tear. I think it's going to be tear. It looks like rend. Bygone Apple desktops. It looks like it has to be iMac Pros. Hmm. It does feel like it wants to be semesters. To excess. Overdue? That's not the right part of speech. Certain polytheist? That could be a Wiccan. Cancel out. That's got to be negate. CG? Heart monitor for short. 
Hmm. Is it an ECG? Electrocardiogram. I think so. Predator that can grow to roughly the size of a school bus. Oh my god. That is a big orca. Black luster. Hmm. Frequently poetically. That should be oft, right? I guess this is flat. Yeah. Tyne Daily. Cagney and Lacey co-star. So this is overly. There we go. And what is this? Camp production. Oh, is it a B movie? Oh my God. That is so funny. So it is semesters. That's a great tricky clue. So like some spy messages, I guess it's in code. And this is Roar. Popular vacation destination. I don't know, is it an aisle? Let's see what our last theme answer is. Congratulations to Eos, Cat Stevens. Well, as we've learned on the crossword previously, Eos is the goddess of the dawn. So, what is this gonna be? Broken. Hmm, I wonder if it's about day breaking. I'm not sure if I know this Cat Stevens song. Interesting. I wonder if we can build off of email here. You tell them. Hmm. Man, I know I've heard of this place before. I can't remember it though. Articles, this should be plural. Condo. Is it just a unit? It would be an example of a unit, right? Hmm. Swing by a string. Interesting. Cafeteria server. Okay, that should be a ladle. Religious figurehead. Hmm. It's not a priest. Recipe instruction. Is that just add? 2001 computer. That's HAL 9000. So is this an elder? There we go. Swing by a string. Oh, is it a verb? Oh my god, this is so tricky. It's dangle. So this has to be morning has broken, right? Because it's Eos. Nice. Okay, that's going to help a lot. Okay, so articles that may be wired... Oh my god, they're talking about bras. Yeah, it's not electrically wired, but it's an underwire. Okay, still no idea here. Hmm, you tell them. What? You tell them. Hmm, foul. That's gotta be nasty. Uh... What is this? Amen. Oh man. And this is maybe Loma Linda, California? Is that right? I think that's gonna have to be our guess, yeah. All right, well, let's throw this L in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, the Sunday puzzle in 41 minutes. I really enjoyed this theme. I feel like my musical knowledge is a little bit patchy, so it was really nice having these phrases that related to mythology as kind of a backup if I didn't know the song. We had Give Peace a Chance by the Plastic Ono Band, A Supplication to Ares, Here Comes the Sun by the Beatles, A Warning to Icarus, Light My Fire by the Doors, A Request to Prometheus, Oh Pretty Woman by Roy Orbison, comment to Aphrodite. You're So Vain by Carly Simon, criticism of Narcissus, that one's really funny. Don't Bring Me Down, Electric Light Orchestra, and Treaty to Hades. And Morning Has Broken by Cat Stevens, congratulations to Eos. Yeah, this is a great theme for a Sunday solve, nice and relaxing. 
All right, well, I hope you enjoyed solving that classic Sunday puzzle with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the easiest puzzle of the week, the Monday. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.